All right, so what I've decided to do actually is just destroy all the other pages, and I'm going to duplicate the home page, um, and then just basically delete all the stuff in it. I mean, I could probably just start from scratch too, which is the same deal. So, um, actually, let me see what am I doing here? I need to. So, I want to just duplicate, duplicate. Duplicate this page. Um, clone funnel step. There we go. And then when you clone it, it goes down to here. Um, so what we're going to do is go into publishing. I'm going to change the name to bridge page. So we know what it is. We'll just call it bridge. Obviously, we'll change those when you actually go to use them but um, this is just for demonstration purposes only. And then we'll click Add to Funnel. So now we've got our bridge page. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add squeeze page in here too. Um, create funnel step. So I can actually show you how to use like one of the templates. And what we can actually do is just move this up here. And then um, say opt in, opt in page. Um, we just want a simple one, right? Let's see. So, I mean, his was so stupid simple. This, this is the one. Um, so yeah so like basically we just change out the image and like I'll just check it out real quick so you can see it so this would be your squeeze page right and he just had the picture of the girls and whatever else right so you go here takes you to here so we had the picture of the girls he had the rounded thing so like you could even do better than this, right? So it probably wouldn't even bother modeling this too much, but you could do it with this. So if you wanted to take away the um, the name field, you could do that. Free instant access. I mean, just change, you know, all the same stuff. Looks like his, his squeeze page might even be a little more outdated, you know what I mean? And then he just has the images in the background. So I'm not going to bother with the image, but you get the idea. But what we can do now is um, let me go ahead and publish and just change the... Uh, oh, you know what? We can... Okay, wait. We'll just call this Jason... C squeeze page. All right. And then, whoops, didn't have to do that. All right, so, all right, so here's the link. All right, so we'll copy that. This is funny, I didn't even mean to go into this um, <laughs> in this video, but I realized how easy it would be just to show you, so might as well do it. So in the buttons, it says button action not set. We'll, we'll set it now just by URL. URL action will be to go to there. And uh, we can open it in a new window or leave it in this one. So we'll go ahead and oh, uh, leave it in this one. So that way we don't have to worry about any potential like pop-ups or anything like that. We'll do the same for this. URL action, paste, and then also the pop-up right here and I don't know if there's a let me see close pop-up that's what we want all right so save otherwise you could have this redirect somewhere else too if you really wanted you know it's, it's up to you let me save it again um, so let's preview so there's a site download it now there's our squeeze page. Um, 
Exit pop. Yes. Squeeze page. Um, exit pop. Go there. Closes pop up. There we go. See how freaking simple that was? Got a fully functional squeeze page. Now we just need the damn bridge page, right? Um, once somebody opts in, where does it send them? Sends them to the bridge page. So let's where that where you have your content and then the next thing a link to the next thing you want to sell them. So that's what I want to create here. This is a duplicate. Do I, I can't speak today. A duplicate of the site. So basically, I'm really just going to kind of delete most of it. I think. Um, damn it. There we go. <laughs> it's too distracting. All right. So make women want you. That's. Um, this is going to be interesting because this is a pattern. I'm, I don't. It's not even an image. Well, it's an image, but it has the. The black on top here is part of the image. So this is, as you can see, an HTML page. So it's going to be a little harder to to replicate some of the um, things on here, like the video going down. I don't know if I can do that offhand. I've never tried. Um, and I don't want to waste my time trying right now. So I'll do it the simple and easy way. But I'll do this. Um, so instead of this icon here, um, We'll just trash this, and instead we'll add a headline. We want a white headline. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. Is it all caps? Yes. So he bolds this. I think that's it. Actually, he's, I see what he did here. He has two headlines. Well, we'll have to have two headlines. Um, so let's take this out. And, oh crap, let's just clone that one. Make the font a little bit smaller, whoops, not bigger, smaller. Um, Oh, interesting. I should have changed the font before, shouldn't I have? It's the font. It's the damn font. Um, all right. So that looks good. Um, let's clone that one and let's delete this one. So I don't have to do all that again. Get rid of that. And then we want to make this as big as like that. I'm not sure about the uh, There we go. Nice, right? Close enough. Is this, this is not bold, right? Or is it? No, it's not. All right. Well, screw it. That's good enough. Um, and then this, this is just an image. So copy image address, delete this crap. Um, you can tell I'm starting to get tired now. My damn phone is ringing. Let me, uh, all right, I'm just going to put this in there. I'm going to pause the video. 
it's a little, maybe a little wider than we want. Width, I don't know. Yeah, that's good, right? Pretty good. All right, let me pause this. Okay, let's continue. So now, um, looking at this, it looks like he's got a little bit of a black bottom border on this thing, so let's just go ahead and add that. Um, go ahead down here, bottom border, color, and that would be all zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can choose the width of it. That one is three pixels. Oh, can we do four, five? Yeah, I guess five looks about about what he has. Um, so now we need to change the background here from this picture to red. So I'm not going to do a pattern. I'm just going to make it red just to make it simple. Um, but just recognize that you could, you know, if you found a pattern like that or you could find a pattern like that. I just, I don't feel like doing it right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we got to get rid of this row. And so let me go ahead and create the single row I want. Add to page. Delete this one. So I just want the video, right? Video, add to page. We'll make it Oops. Uh, this is actually a smaller video. I would make it bigger maybe, but um we can do this, I guess. Um border part I'm gonna have to think about this one for a minute um, what we could do is what we could do I didn't think about this um, three column block add to page pull the video into here oh, that really shrunk it down um, Now we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, and then do column, center column. Then I see if we can do a, like some kind of border. I mean, this is obviously getting to the... Uh, unnecessary but we're just having fun right um, so let's see what skin do we want default this is white and then background gray can we do the whole thing white and then the border Hmm. See, now I'm starting to think here. If we can do background color white, and then hopefully you see where I'm going with this. Don't know how it'll turn out, but... Um, we'll find out. Make this all right. Now the edges radius. So you want to make it rounder, right? This is like round. Although I don't know if we can match. Actually, on the video, we probably want no. 
border anymore. Oh man. Um Yeah, it's fine. But then back to here, we need like a full border. solid. I mean, that's pretty close, I would say. Solid, no shadow, radius, all edges. I don't know if there's, I mean, otherwise just shrinking it down a little bit would be like the only thing we could really do. Right? So let's go ahead and save this. Uh, we'll leave it like that. I think it's all right. Screw it, right? It's good enough. Cool. Um, oh, and there's a link in there. Awesome. So this would go to the product page, which we could do like a default click funnels page. Um, I'll just do another headline text, add to page. Drop this down a little bit. Um, and then basically you could just, uh, what's the color on here? If you wanted to mirror the color, we could. 990000. Oh, but in here, this is the one, this is another thing that drives me nuts. You don't have the option to put the hex numbers in um in this. So it's tough to like figure out the coloring exactly. Um so you kinda gotta like mess around with it until you see something that's close enough. Let's say that's pretty close. Um and then it's actually small uh So maybe just the coloring sucks, but whatever. Um, and then he's got this thing again. So what I will do is just, uh, what do we have? Anything else down here? Not really. So, I'm going to clone this, move it down, I'm going to add a one column block, I'm going to move this in here, move this in here, um, I want to get the gray that he uses. Hopefully you see how, uh, I mean I've already said this I'm sure, but Oh crap, that's what I want to do. There we go. How easily that you can like actually just do this stuff, right? Once you get the hang of it, it's simple. Um, oh, the background, that's what I'm doing. And I'm like tired too, so I'm not even like doing this as good as I should be, unfortunately. Um, and that's, crap, that's pretty much it. Like, I'll delete this. 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 Delete
delete this. Uh, that stupid bottom border. I gotta get rid of that. Um, bottom border. No border. Alright. Delete this. Make it all go away. We'll keep this, but we'll make it white, I guess. One column block. Add to page. Move that in there. And then we'll just center it. delete this and of course make it white oh the text I forgot where to go and I think he made his link colors like some kind of reddish color right oh. yeah that was the one I wanted So, um, similar, close enough. I don't even feel like it's worth um, you know messing around with too much more. You can obviously see the whole process, and uh, you're really just watching me like play with stupid little unnecessary settings to try to make things uh, look as close as possible but obviously not necessary so there would be your page and if you wanted to you know oops if we want to put in the video URL just for demonstration purposes there we go And I think his is autoplay. So that's his. This is ours. Crap. Um, and we still got the pop up on the page. So we would turn off the pop up for that because we obviously don't need it since he, we, you know, person's already opted in to get there. So basically we would just, um, we would edit the pop-up settings and say don't show on exit so I think that's all you'd have to do and then close that make this autoplay on I would like to kind of make the video a little bit bigger Um, I don't know why it's not letting me uh, mess with the sizes now. So, there we have it. So all we would do, I mean this is obviously bigger, but whatever. We'd link that to another page that we could create. Um, let me see. Save. Exit. Um, if we wanted to add a new step, we could. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what does he call his what does he call his page? Let's see. It's just private access. All right, whatever. Um, upsell. Say upsell private access. So we we'll create funnel step. Oh, I should have put private. Oh well, forget it. And then we do sales page. 
and then we just find us a sales page template um, any of these would do really I mean if you looked at his it was just like a video and then some copy below it so any of these would actually do this this would be fine that would be a good one actually and uh, um, can do that so I guess I mean I don't know I, I'm not gonna bother with it now this video is too long but that's what we would do we just create another page and then link the 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 link that I showed you here we'd link it to that page where you're selling a product right so that's that's how damn easy it is and this funnel will be available for you to just take of course I'm gonna take out all of his stuff because I'm not going to uh, suffer the consequences <laughs> of using his stuff when I don't want to it's uh that's not my main focus here do using anything that's actually his I just want to show you how you can you know just add stuff in and it, it's easier to use his stuff and make it look cool like that so that's why I wanted to do it that way but um, alright so hopefully you got a lot out of this training I know it went a little bit long but hey I wanted to um, make sure you got everything and saw exactly how to do it and uh, that's pretty much it but so go ahead grab the funnel put it to good use start making some money with it drive traffic to it make sales be happy and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Just shoot me an email, contact me on my page, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, look forward to talking to you soon, and keep an eye out for more funnels that I will have on the way. Take care.